What's up, ooze? This is Jim bringing you a comparison video for Modern Warfare 3 and Battlefield 3. This video is a little bit late, but it doesn't really matter, so let's get right into it. First off, we're going to be showing the trailers, and after that, I'll explain how this comparison is going to go. It doesn't take the most powerful nations on Earth to create the next global conflict. Just the will of a single man. You are guilty. I know how your fucking story is! Alright, so those are just the two trailers so that you guys could get a preview of what's to come, you could say. Alright, so this is how this comparison is going to work. First off, we're going to compare the graphics, which will be out of 10 points campaign, out of 20 points, and then lastly, multiplayer, which is also out of 20 points. So how we're going to judge which game is better is by adding up all the points each game accumulates and then whoever has more points in the end is the winner. Now just remember all of these points and everything else that is given out, these are all opinion based I am who I say I am. Uh, reviews. So doesn't mean that one game is definitely better than another, but that's just my opinion. Alright, so let's move into the graphics. Okay, so that was the graphics comparison. Both of the clips that you just saw were from the campaign of each game. You'll see the multiplayer comparison later, but for right now, we just have the campaign. And in my opinion, Battlefield 3 does have better graphics. They have more realistic, interactive graphics than Modern Warfare 3. Not saying Modern Warfare 3's graphics are bad, because both games have definitely above average when it comes to graphics. Okay, so let's move on to the campaign. Campaign, Battlefield 3 is going to go first and after that you'll see Modern Warfare 3. So, here we go. Look, the situation is this. We lost contact with Jackson's squad. They were investigating a lead on a possible chem weapon site at grid 8-0. For now, you're the only element I've got to say.
but my Arabic's a little rusty. campaigns well not really trailer but you know what i mean i hope so modern warfare 3 campaign i think it was pretty fun 7 out of 10 not really the best but i, I like its replayability right because pretty much every cod has a good campaign replayability so in total got 15 points out of possible 20 so let's go to battlefield 3 battlefield 3 it's replayability is probably not as good as Modern Warfare 3 because it's one of those one-time thing kind of campaigns in my opinion. So, but when you're first playing it, I have to say it's a lot more fun than Modern Warfare 3 when you first play that campaign. So in total, Battlefield 3 gets a 15 out of 20, which means that the game's tied. Okay, so moving on. Next up, we have, in my opinion, the most important feature of any first-person shooter, which is the multiplayer. The videos that are going to be shown are not the actual game- well, it is gameplay, but it is not really the actual thing you would play because both things are set up in a way or staged, so. Just, just, you know, yeah, yeah, good, 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 yeah. Okay, so Battlefield 3, 
Battlefield 3 multiplayer. I think it's really it's really fun if you play for an hour, um, maybe two hours. But when you usually go over around that time, it just loses. I don't know all the buildings falling and all the jets flying around and all the vehicles driving. All that stuff. It's, it's really fun at first, but then eventually it gets old and it just isn't. No. For Modern Warfare 3, it's a little bit like the opposite of Battlefield, where it is pretty, you could play it for a while and I still won't get bored, and it, it's not as fun, but it's, it's just more consistent than Battlefield 3. And in total, it got a 14 out of 20 points, 7 for fun, 7 for addicting. I don't even know if that's a word, but we're going to use it, so let's move on to the final scores. This is where all the magic happens, and all of the problem world peace is formed, and where unicorns run rampant, and babies are riding on their backs, and there's no need to eat animal crackers every day for lunch all right for real now modern warfare 3 got a 36.5 out of 50 and battlefield 3 got a 38 out of 50 so the ending result battlefield 3 is the winner. yeah so battlefield 3 wins in my com in my review of Battlefield 3 versus Modern Warfare 3. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you think I'm a noob. Thumbs up. And if you haven't already, check out our 26 pound gummy bear video. Just click on that box right there. Also, check out our other channel, McChicken442, where, where we do more comedy or random videos. But. Take it out. Bye.